everybody. Welcome to World Book Day 2021. It's going to be a little bit different from other World Book Days because we can't run the normal events that we would in the library and across the school and that's a real shame. But what I hope has happened over the last eight weeks is that you've had the opportunity to maybe read a little bit more than you would have done otherwise and maybe read some things, some new books and some different things that you wouldn't have read otherwise. And I hope that over the next couple of days, some of the events that you can take part in inspire you to maybe pick up a book or pick up a different book or to try a different author or a different genre, something that's going to broaden your horizons and bring you some joy and relaxation over the next few weeks. Reading has always been really important to me. It's one of my favourite things to do. And I found it has really helped me to understand experiences that I would never normally get to have. When you read a book, you get to see through the eyes of a different person, maybe somebody from a different historical period or a country that you may never visit in your life and to, to kind of walk in their shoes and live their experience for a while. And that really broadens your mind. It really develops your ability to empathise with people. And it gives you knowledge that is a different kind of knowledge than I think you get from textbooks because it's a very sort of human knowledge and, and when you're reading you have time to reflect, time to think, time to contemplate and time to feel things about the characters and about what's going on in the story that maybe you don't really have that sense of, of, of reflection time when you might be in a classroom or reading a textbook or doing your homework. So it's a really important thing to do um, and there's so much evidence that reading um, helps people in their lives, that it helps them academically, it helps them in their education, but it also helps them with mental health, it helps them with their general well-being, because it's also, as well as all of those other things, just a really enjoyable activity that allows you to escape into different worlds and to, to have some downtime, some relaxation. Um, so I hope that it's something that you will you already enjoy doing, or it's something that you will pick up and continue to do, that you'll continue to challenge yourself in your reading, and I hope that the activities of the next um, of this World Book Day will allow you to have those experiences. Books are the Matt and Tom Alfred series because I think they're very interesting and I think they can inspire you to become a footballer when you grow older. Happy World Book Day from Miss Clark. Um, I hope you've all got an exciting day of activities planned and lots of reading. I want to show you a little bit about a book I really enjoyed recently. It's called The Power by Naomi Alderman and it's about a group of young women who discover they suddenly have magical powers and they take over the earth. Um, I would really recommend it to years 9, 10 and 11. I hope you enjoy your World Book Day. I most enjoyed was the Mice and Men because of Lenny and George's friendship. I like the Mice and Men because it's full of them. They stuck together no matter what. They were all together doing adventures together. They travelled together. They shared the same aunties as well. I liked it when it was called Lenny beat up the, the cocky boxer because he was too arrogant. But the also sad moment was when Lenny accidentally killed the boxer's wife. I also liked Lenny because he was very strong but he didn't know how strong he was. Which is very sad because I wish he knew how strong he was.
Hello, and uh, happy World Book Day from me and three of my favourite books. So I just thought, I'd, I'd, I just went to my bookshelf, um, which is one of the nice things about work, working at home, they're always there. And I've got three of my favourite books. Number one, oops, it's not very shown very well. Roberto Bolaño, uh, 2666. You can see it's quite a, quite a journey, it took me a long time to read that one. But one to read, that's one of my favorite books that I've ever read. Um, this one, The Spirit Level, Why Equality is Better for Everyone. This is a really great um, political book which charts like the different, um, lots of different kind of data points around physical health, mental health, crime, um, and, and prison um, populations and things like that. And it looks at why societies that are more equal have uh, better um, impacts, not just on people um, who are least well off, but also on those who are most well off in societies, which is a really great idea. And then I have such fond memories of reading this book. Um, it, I read it on a train when I was uh, taking a train around Europe uh, a couple of summers ago. and. Yeah, almost missed my stop and ended up in the wrong country because I was so absorbed in my book. Um, and it is a really beautiful story. And I know that it's one that people um, uh, study at A level here at Haggerston as well. Um, but yeah, no, those are three of my favourites. So happy World Book Day. incident because the ca the character and I we shared quite a lot of like similarities and like what type of foods we like and what types we don't like what colours we like and stuff like that and it's kind of like interesting and like cool to read. This is Ruby Sammy wishing you all a very happy World Book Day. Looking forward to seeing you all very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.